everybody, everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious mustard fried chicken. And on the side, I'm going to share with you all how I also make nice, sweet, fluffy mashed potatoes. This recipe is so easy. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. You all never had my mustard fried chicken before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. You will need some chicken. Any pieces of the chicken that you love, then that's the piece that you're gonna use. We love chicken thighs here at the Young's house. So that's what I have here. I have washed off my chicken with lime juice, salt, and water, and then I've pat dried the chicken with a paper towel. You will need some French's, French's mustard, the all-American flavor in the bottle. You will also need some butter. We're gonna be using the sweet cream butter for our mashed sweet potatoes. I have two cans of sweet potatoes. You will need cinnamon, vanilla, and some sugar. Okay, and also back here you can see that I have some all-purpose flour that we'll be using to dredge up our chicken. Of course, you're going to need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you will need. You're going to need some parsley. You're going to also need some Old Bay seasoning. No, Old Bay seasoning is not just for fish. Right here, it clearly says it's for chicken as well. Try it next time you make some chicken. We're going to need some poultry seasoning garlic and onion powder, black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so one of the first things that we wanna do is we wanna get some lovely seasonings onto this chicken. And what I like to do is when I cook chicken, or any meats. I like to season it and let those seasonings really seep down into that protein before we start to fry it. And also, um, you don't wanna take your meat right out of the refrigerator and start to fry it right away because that meat is going to go into shock, okay? What you wanna do is bring your meat up to room temperature, let it set out for at least a half an hour, and it cooks up better. It's gonna be nice and juicy. So let's go ahead right now and season this chicken. We have some beautiful chicken today. I am so excited. It's been a while since I've made mustard fried chicken. If you all never had this before, you better make you some. Make you some Gina Young style. Okay, so we're gonna turn it this way. Get those seasonings on there. Don't be afraid to season your meats. It needs the flavor. This is the black pepper that we're gonna put on, just like so. Beautiful. Little bit of onion powder all right garlic powder as well I hope you all are having a great day and just a little bit of poultry seasoning poultry seasoning can be a little strong if you use too much okay just a little bit is needed all right that Old Bay seasoning get you some on there just like so okay so we're gonna use some parsley just a little bit, not too much as needed. We're gonna flip this chicken over. We're gonna season the other side. And when I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, we can't turn them over just yet. I don't wanna forget that salt. Let's go in with some salt, just like so it needs it. Okay, now some of you might like to use seasoning salt. Absolutely you can, okay? Just like so, be back. Okay, everyone, so now that we have our chicken nice and seasoned, now it's time to put that French's mustard onto the chicken. There's no certain way to do it, but I tell you one thing, when you're making this mustard fried chicken, you need French's. French's mustard is the way to go. <laughs> All right, don't use those imitations out there, okay? So it looks like we're putting a lot. That's because we are. You need a lot. And you see that I've, I'm using gloves, okay? And we just wanna really get this mustard all over this chicken. And we're, then we're gonna let the chicken set 
for around about 25 minutes because we're doing a video. But if I wasn't doing a video, I would literally let this set for a couple of hours with that mustard and these spices so they can really permeate down into this protein. So you can see that I'm rubbing it all over this chicken just like so. Okay, I wanna make sure that every crease and crevice of these gorgeous chicken thighs has that beautiful mustard just like so. Now, when I come back, this would have set for around about 25 minutes to a half an hour, and I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, while we let our chicken behind me sit for a little bit, let's go ahead and get started on these really quick and simple, yet so tasty sweet potatoes. So now, there's a couple of different ways you can do. You can use um, fresh sweet potatoes if you like. I'm gonna use the can because that's what I have here. Okay, so we're gonna take these and drain them as much as you can. There will still be a little bit of liquid in here, but we'll try our best to cook it off. We're gonna take these and pour them right into a pan, just like so. Get all that goodness out of there. All right. Now, if you're using the fresh ones, you're going to have to boil, cut them down, you know, into cubes and then boil them until they're nice and fork tender, okay? So what we'll do is we want the heat to really get these nice and warm so we can go a little further. But what I wanna do is go ahead and get some seasoning into these right now. Now, those of you that love nutmeg, you can use nutmeg, you can use a little bit of ground cloves if you like. For me, I'm just gonna use that ground cinnamon. It does the trick for me, just like so. Oh, you can smell it already as it hits that nice warm pan. Okay, we wanna really heat these up. Okay, everyone, while our sweet potatoes warm up, now it's time to dive in and take this beautiful chicken and dredge it into the flour. Now you can put it in a paper bag, a plastic bag, put it in a container with a lid on it, but it doesn't matter how you do it. I'm, I like to take mine and just do just like this, okay? Really simple. Okay, let's get that flour on there. All right, those of you, if you're squeamish of touching the raw meat, get you some gloves, okay? And then what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we really shake off the excess flour. When you're frying chicken, you always shake off that excess flour because if you don't, the excess flour will fall to the bottom of your pan and it'll burn and your oil will have the taste of burnt flour. So this is how we dredge it. And I'm gonna show you with this one how we're gonna shake off the excess. It's pretty simple. Everything that Tina Young shares with you all, it's gonna be simple, it's gonna be fun. You better believe it's gonna taste good. All right, so now this is how we shake it off. Just like so, right before going into the oil. And we're gonna make sure that that oil is nice and hot before you put this in there. Because if you don't, you're gonna have an oily mess. You can never fry anything in oil that's not hot enough. And I'm gonna share with you all today how to check and see if your oil is hot enough to fry your chicken. Okay, everyone, we're here at the larger stove and I have my oil on a medium high heat. We're gonna take some flour between my fingertips and when you put your flour in the oil, it's gonna sizzle right away. Okay, now if it floats to the bottom and it doesn't sizzle right away, your oil's not hot enough. Okay, so watch this, let's see. Sizzles right away, perfect, it didn't float to the bottom. Hot oil is what we have. So now we're gonna take that chicken and like I said, give it a nice shake, just like so. Pat the flour on as I'm doing one more time. You can see me there. Shake, get it in, just like so. Don't be that person that puts your chicken, throws your chicken in and you run the other way because you will cause splattery. We don't want any splattery. Okay, I'm gonna put these pieces in and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, while our chicken cooks up, let's go ahead and finish our mashed sweet potatoes. They are nice and hot and steamy and any extra liquid has cooked off. Okay, so you can see in the bottom of the pan, there's no extra liquid. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take this time to put in vanilla. Any extract that you love, absolutely you can use. You can use an almond extract if you like. Use an orange extract, okay? 
all right? So I'm gonna put about that much in. We're gonna start to mash it up a little bit and then we'll start to put our sugar in. Now listen here, let's talk about this really quickly. Those of you that um, like to watch your sugar intake, you can always use Splenda, you can use agave nectar, or you can just eat the sweet potatoes this way. They're nice and sweet, okay? So possibilities are endless when you think about making these potatoes. You don't have to use that sugar. You can also use a brown sugar if you'd like. Okay, so let's go ahead, turn this beater on, mix these bad boys up until they're nice and smooth. Okay, everyone, so I have somewhat of a smooth texture. Let's go ahead and add some butter. I'm gonna add a half a stick of that beautiful sweet cream butter right in, okay? And then I'm gonna add, this is a half a cup of white sugar. I'm gonna put just a little bit in, and then I'm gonna continue to beat this up and I'll be right back. Okay everyone, so our mashed sweet potatoes are done. They didn't take any time. They're delicious, they're so much fun to make. This is a recipe you wanna make for your family and friends. We have that nice smooth, fluffy consistency. I wanna take it out of this hot pan. Okay, the butter has melted. I used a tiny bit more sugar, all right? And I'm gonna taste it. I do want to fold in a little bit of salt. And when I tell you a little bit, just a tiny bit for taste. Okay? Just like so. Okay, everyone. So now what I want to do, let's go ahead and get that little tiny bit of um, salt into our potatoes. That little bit right there is going to do the trick. It's going to really bring out the flavor in these sweet potatoes. Just fold it in just like so. I want to put just a little tiny bit more of the cinnamon. We're going to taste this, give it a taste right now, and then we'll check in on our beautiful chicken. I tell you one thing, it smells amazing. Let's taste it. I can't wait. Take a bite. Go in here. Mmm. <laughs> Reminds me of the holidays. Mm. Okay, everyone, we're here at the stove. Now, it's okay to check on the chicken and touch it. When it's a little too early in the cooking process, you don't wanna to touch it with anything because all of that beautiful crust that you work so hard for will come falling off if you bother it. Here's what it looks like right now. It's looking amazing. It's not cooked. It does have to cook a little bit longer. And when I come back, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, everyone, so what you all are seeing, you see that the chicken has rised up to the top of the oil and that's an indication that your chicken is just about done if not done my chicken will be done in about five minutes here's that beautiful color that we've achieved and you're going to you're going to be able to achieve that color by using that mustard gorgeous okay everyone take a look at this beautiful juicy crispy gina young style french's yellow mustard fried chicken Make you some. And take a look also at these beautiful, light and fluffy, a little bit sweet mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, nice fresh biscuits on the side. When I come back, we're gonna dive in. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this hair video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're gonna say a quick prayer and you all get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you for yet another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. And we bind that devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. We thank you for that. Amen.
Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's dive in. I can't wait any longer. All right, so I just made a little small plate because I really want to sit down with my family and enjoy this. All right, first thing that I want is those sweet potatoes while I wait for the chicken to cool down a little bit. Take a bite. Going in. Mm. <laughs> hey! Uh -huh. Make you some. Listen here, and make sure you put just that hint of salt in here. It really brightens it up, makes it so delicious. I'm taking another bite. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. Oh yeah, come on chicken, you are calling my name. You hear me? Oh, <laughs> right there. I know, I know, I know. Get in my belly right now. Oh, it's crispy. It's juicy, stay on my fork. Oh man, take a bite. Going in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is so juicy. This is so flavorful. It's so crispy. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm. Mm.